today is Monday, December, December 7th, 2015. Are aliens from deep space trying to talk to us? I'm Anastasia Crockett. And I'm Audrey Chun. Scientists are at a loss to explain fast radio bursts coming from the cosmos. We've got details. Your CSN News starts now. Don't forget to buy your yearbook in the front office. Wednesday and Thursday, the yearbook staff will be in the lunchroom promoting sales. They'll be having games and giving away prizes, and they will be having a Christmas photo booth. There is an ugly sweater contest during both days. Wear your ugly festive holiday sweaters on Wednesday and Thursday, and you can win $10 towards your yearbook purchase. There are $70, but just $35 now will reserve you a, year a book. You will still owe money on your yearbook. Please pay your balance ASAP. Also, seniors, personalized ads are now on sale for the yearbook. If you think your parents would want to buy you one for you, pick up a form in the front office and take it to them. The deadline for ads is January 15th. The two high school orchestras from the three Nampa school district schools will, pre will be presenting a concert at Columbia High's auditorium at 7.30 on December 8th. Selections will include John Williams' Star Wars, Jurassic Park, and a medley of Christmas tunes, as well as We Wish You a Merry Christmas. The concert will be under an hour in length, and donations for music and supplies will be accepted. Come and support our string and percussion students and enjoy a night of great music. Has everyone raided their pantry and cupboards yet? We don't see a lot of cans stacking up in the cafeteria. Let's not disappoint our community and have disappointing results this year. Bring those cans in now. The food drive will be ending soon. Nampa High has always given in tremendous ways, so keep it up. The Foreign Language Society will meet on December 8th after school in room 127. There will be a special presentation from two foreign exchange students. Be on time and be ready to learn. We'll be right back after this. Writing is an adventurous journey of self-discovery. Writing is an outlet. <laughs> Writing is relaxation. Writing is my sarcastic attitude brought to life. Yes. Writing is a form of expression that allows me to be me. Writing helps me escape the doldrums of everyday life. Writing is the pizza of the soul. <laughs> National English Honor Society. Meetings every other Thursday in room 656. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 43 with a low of 31. Tomorrow's high is going to be 44 and it's going to be low 30. Somewhere out there in the darkest depths of our universe, something is generating mysterious eruptions of energy that are being detected as fast radio bursts, otherwise known as FRBs. Since these weird phenomena were first discovered nearly a decade ago, astronomers have been at a loss to explain what they could be. Everything from aliens to supernovas have been cited as possible culprits. Now, by painstakingly analyzing the signal of one of these pulses, astronomers may be on the trail to finally working out what the heck is rumbling up the cosmos. Scientists using the Hubble and Spitzer space tel telescopes have spotted the faintest object ever seen in the early universe, named Tania. The compact galaxy was one of the 22 such subjects recently found thanks to an intriguing physics trick, a natural magnifying ten lens in space. The tiny young galaxy existed just 400 years after the Big Bang. Because it's so far away, we're seeing Tania as it was back in the early days of the universe. Researchers believe that we may have caught it in the process of growing into a fully sized galaxy. Today's SAT word of the day is collusion, which means a secret agreement for fraudulent, illegal, or treacherous purposes. You could use it this way. The fact that all gas stations set very similar prices has led to the suspect that collusion by oil companies. Thanks for watching, and remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it. <laughs>